There, the world is one of the smallest countries in Southeast Asia. That country is famous for being a global financial center, being among the most densely populated place in the world, having a world-class city airport with a waterfall, and a botanic garden that is a World Heritage Site. It is also known as a tourist destination for its hot and humid climate, being very clean, and growing in the area due to reclaimed land. That small country decided to make a plan and become more sustainable, increasing its green areas and affecting the protection of the environment, providing future generations with a better place to live. Maybe you can guess which country it is. It is the Republic of Singapore. Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects channel. In today's video, we will talk about Singapore Green Plan 2030, what it means for the country, how it will be implemented, and how it will all affect the future of that country. We hope you enjoy the video, but before we continue, please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss more interesting videos about billion dollar projects around the world. Well, are you ready for this content? Let's continue the video. Efforts to create a sustainable Singapore hark back to 1992 when the first Green Plan was released. Another edition was released in 2002, titled the Singapore Green Plan 2012. On 10 February, the Singapore government unveiled the Singapore Green Plan 2030, a nationwide movement to advance Singapore's national agenda on sustainable development. The Green Plan is to be spearheaded by five ministries, the Ministry of Education, National Development, Sustainability and the Environment, Trade and Industry and Transport, and features five key pillars as follows. City in Nature to create a green, livable, and sustainable home for Singaporeans. Sustainable living, to make reducing carbon emissions, keeping the environment clean, and saving resources and energy a way of life in Singapore. Energy reset, to use cleaner energy and increase energy efficiency to lower Singapore's carbon footprint. Green economy, to seek green growth opportunities to create new jobs, transform Singapore's industries, and harness sustainability as a competitive advantage. Resilient future, to build up Singapore's climate resilience and enhance its food security. Yes, this plan has a lot of goals, so let's look together at what those goals are. One of the goals, perhaps one of the most important, is to set aside 50% more land, around 200 hectares, for future parks. In that way, every household will live within a 10-minute walk of a park. By planting 1 million more trees across the island, which will absorb another 78,000 tons of CO2, the population will enjoy cleaner air and cooler shade. With more green spaces, there will be more wildlife, from migratory birds and hornbills to otters and mouse deers. But some animals may get into conflict with people too, so it needs to work with communities and non-governmental organizations to develop programs to allow humans and wildlife to live in harmony. In the future, by 2030, Singapore will be a green and beautiful city in nature. Imagine being a resident enjoying that greenery in nature. That would be great, wouldn't it? The stated aim to increase solar deployment to five times the current installed capacity by 2030, as well as the doubling of the number of EV charging points over the same period, presents significant opportunities for industry players. While consumer behavior appears to lag behind the investment trends in Asia, government-led efforts to bolster Singapore's energy infrastructure for green energy will raise awareness and potentially reduce the costs of choosing green energy. Concerning solar energy, we would expect to see more opportunities in the commercial and industrial segment with rooftop solar, an obvious area for growth, and also the increased deployment of floating solar located in Singapore's territorial waters. The plan also builds on Singapore's 2030 aim to reduce the waste sent to the landfill by 30% aiming for a 20% reduction by 2026. It will also aim for at least 20% of schools to be carbon neutral by 2030 for a start, with the rest of the schools to follow, working towards a two-thirds reduction of net carbon emissions from the school sector by 2030. In schools, the Green Plan will be supported by the Eco Stewardship Program to strengthen the inculcation of informed, responsible, and sustainability-conscious mindsets and habits in youth. Among the targets of the Green Plan are the creation of new and diverse job opportunities in sectors such as green finance, sustainability consultancy, verification, credits trading, and risk management. These targets built on the strategic location of Singapore, with Asia being a key supplier of carbon credits, and the fact that many energy traders are based in Singapore, 
to establish Singapore as a leading carbon trading and services hub. The Economic Development Board and Enterprise Singapore have also engaged companies active in the carbon space to establish a presence here. Services provided by these companies include low-carbon project development, consulting and verification services for clean development mechanisms, carbon footprinting, project financing, and legal services. The Green Plan demonstrates Singapore's willingness to take firm actions to build a sustainable future and address climate change. The Singapore government has hailed the Green Plan as a living plan, which will evolve with Singapore society as new technologies and solutions present new options. As sustainability efforts gain traction in the economy, there is a greater urgency for Singapore to achieve its target under the Green Plan if it wishes to lead the region in sustainable development and financing. Well, since we have already said everything and this is the end of the video, now it remains for you to say something and write a comment. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, press the notification button to be notified when the new video is online. Well guys, that's it for today. Thanks for your attention and see you soon again.